So, uh, third video of 8.2 is going to talk about special right triangles and we're going to show the importance of these special right triangles. So, when we look at these three triangles, uh, I want to find the value of x in each one. So, go ahead and take a minute and do that. Um, and then I'll show you the answers in just a second. So, 3, 4, the third side, you should have got x was 5. Over here, x is 6. And over here, x is 4, square root of 3. Now, I didn't have to use a calculator for any of these. It's not because I've been doing this for a while. It's because 3, 4, 5 is a special right triangle family. Two legs of 3 and 4 give you a hypotenuse of 5. Now, why 6, 8, and 10? Well, 6 is 3 times 2. 8 is 4 times 2. And 10 is 5 times 2. They have 3, 4, and 5. Over here is 3 times square root of 3, 4 times square root of 3, 5 times square root of 3. All of these three triangles are similar because they're all multiples of 3, 4, and 5. This is probably the most important slide you're going to see in the entire PowerPoint. These four right triangle families need to be memorized. I cannot tell you how important these are and how much time you're going to save if you have these memorized. Okay, so make sure you get those written down. I'm going to go through this PowerPoint pretty quickly showing you how to use those and how we don't have to use Pythagorean theorem when we have those. So, find x using what we know about triples. Well, here's a 3, here's a 4. That means I need a 5. 3 divided by 7, 4 divided by 7, 5 divided by 7. Done. Didn't have to do Pythagorean theorem and didn't have to use fractions. Next example, 10 and 26. Okay, those aren't part of our triples, but 26 is 13 times 2. 10 is 5 times 2. They're multiplied by the same thing, so this one is something times 2. Our triples were 3, 4, 5, that's not it, but the other one was 5, 12, 13. Let me, uh, Switch this color, plug in 12 there, and 12 times 2, x is 24. Next one, 16, x, and 34. Now, 16 can be a multiple of a lot of things, so I'm going to look at 34. 34 is 17 times 2, which means this has to be something times 2. Uh, that's 8. 8 times 2, something times 2 and 17 times 2. When you multiply 15 times 2, now we have a triple of 8, 15, 17. Now hopefully you still have those three those families written down in case you don't have them memorized yet, but 8, 15, 17, which means x is 30. Our next one, find the diagonal of a rectangle whose dimensions are 9 and 12. So we have a rectangle, we have dimensions of 9 and 12, and we have a diagonal. Well, 9 is 3 times 3, 12 is 4 times 3. This is going to be something times 3. 3, 4, and 5 is our last triple, so the diagonal is 15. Now I want you to find x. First reaction, 3, 4, 5. The only issue with that, 5 has to be the hypotenuse. You have to have the biggest side being the hypotenuse. This is just a kind of a trick example, something to watch out for. That 3, 4, and this is not 5, this one requires Pythagorean theorem because there's no triple that has 4 as the hypotenuse. 9 plus x squared equals 16, x squared equals 7. So x is the square root of 7. So just keep that in mind that you don't rush too quickly. Make sure 3, 4, and 5, that the 5 would be the hypotenuse. And our last example, we want to find x. I know two sides in this right triangle, so I'm going to call this y. I'm going to find y first, then after finding y, then I'll find x. 12 is 4 times 3. We did this triangle in a previous example. 3, 4, this is 5 times 3, so y is 15. Now that this side is 15, 
I need to find x. 8, 15, and x is going to be 17 because that's one of our triples. So notice how quickly I got through that. I got through this this explanation in five minutes because I was using my triples. So what, make sure you have these four written down and you start getting them memorized.